happening. Stocks under pressure, of course. Uh, the main action on Sunday night, the rally that we saw in Bitcoin moving back above 40,000 during yesterday's trading for the first time since June. Of course, still off those highs. And we've seen uh, kind of range bound trading here for the major star in the cryptoplex over the last couple of months. Joining us now to talk more about what's happening in the crypto trading space and where we go from here, Hao Shu, CEO at Epiphany. Uh, thanks so much for, for jumping on this morning. Let's just kind of start with um, what, what you saw in Bitcoin on, on Sunday evening, how you think about a move of, you know, four or $5,000 uh, in Bitcoin just in, you know, what was it, maybe an hour or so that we saw? Yeah, sure. Uh, thanks for having me, first of all. Uh, yeah, so in the past week, there's been a lot of positive news for Bitcoin. Um, you see that during the B-Word conference, Elon Musk and Jack Dorsey said they still hold Bitcoin, and their language kind of still showed support uh, for cryptocurrency in general and showed that they have not given up on Bitcoin. Uh, and in the past week, you also seen Amazon job posting for digital asset and blockchain. Um, although they denied they're going to set Bitcoin as a form of payment this morning, that maybe has something to do with the uh, price drawdown, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything too bad for Bitcoin, right? Uh, because they are for sure uh, exploring blockchain te technology, and that is for sure good for the industry in general. And anything that's good for the blockchain industry in general is very good for Bitcoin. So this is the most market dominant asset here. And most importantly, in terms of market, uh, in, in the past weekend, we have actually seen more than a billion uh, shorts liquidated as Bitcoin broke 39K. Uh, that's the most uh, sudden liquidation happened ever since May uh, during the dip. Uh, so in the past month, we've seen you know terrible decline in volume in major crypto exchanges, almost like 40% down from month to month. Uh, now we're seeing some volume pick back up. And your platform, if I'm not mistaken, is is mostly for what professional traders. I don't know how we're defining professional here. Maybe you can help us out on that. But are they the folks who are getting? Who, who were short, who were getting liquidated? I mean, what are they doing that's different from maybe what retail investors are doing? Yeah, so prof professional traders usually utilize um, many instruments. Uh, they, they run a lot of different strategies as well instead of just investing Bitcoin. So a lot of them are even market neutral, don't really care where Bitcoin moves and just performs like arbitrage strategy, and fi high frequency stuff. Um, so when Bitcoin was around like 29K, 29K, that was actually a good entrance point for a lot of institutions. So uh, we've seen that institutions kind of think differently than retails in this market. So when Bitcoin is actually low, they actually tend to think that's a good entrance point instead of anything bad for Bitcoin. Um, and um, mainly on our platform, we provide access uh, for professional traders to you know the dozens of crypto exchanges in the world. And this is sort of like a problem that a lot of retail traders don't realize. Um, so if, if you think about it, so the, the value of Amazon, sort of like, they're sort of store of stores, right? They provide really good discovery for uh, the same commodity over a range of stores. So prior to Amazon existed, you can only you can only find, say, like a pencil in your local store instead of like across a thousand stores that are online. So Bitcoin is the same way. So most of the people are only trading on a single exchange. Uh, whatever the exchange they use today might be like only Coinbase or only, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> or only Gemini. But people don't realize that Bitcoin is actually priced very differently across different exchanges. And uh, the liquidity is also uh, very thin in each, in each individual exchange. So professional traders kind of don't like this. They would like to see good price discovery and good liquidity. So we provide the one stop solution for uh, professional traders to get access to uh, many of the exchanges. Tell us a little bit more uh, about your firm. Where are you hiring from? Where are these folks coming from? And, and what are some uh, other new products you might have coming out this year? Yeah, so uh, in terms of hiring, uh, most of the people are based on the uh, based in the U.S., so East Coast, West Coast. Uh, and across the world, we have people in Singapore um, and, and, and some employees in Europe as well. Yeah, so, so recently there's been a lot of... Uh, uh, shortage in terms of labor in the crypto market because there's a lot of high demand. Um, yeah, but but we've been doing well um, as we have plans uh, to go public before the end of this year. Uh, so a lot of people are joining us. Um, and we're still actively hiring. Um, yeah, so in terms of some of the products we're rolling out, uh, we're uh, we're rolling out mainly products and solutions based on the institutional side. So uh, one of the things that institutional traders look for is a uh, quick settlement across different exchanges. So because we're already connected to different exchanges in our platform, 
uh, settlement has always been a, a, a difficult part because in order to transfer Bitcoin, uh, you actually need to perform an on-chain transaction from one exchange to the other. And we can just do that instantly because for us, it's all an internal ledger move. And aside from that, uh, we also have a mining operation. Uh, we're we're going to uh, we're we're going to issue this mining product that basically mimics the ownership of a mining machine to let people get but to let people easily get exposure to mining Bitcoin. When do you anticipate your IPO taking place, and and will it be a direct listing? Uh, cannot disclose that at, uh, at this moment, uh, but we are expected to wrap wrap that up by the end of this year. All right, we'll leave it there. Hao Han Shu, CEO of Epiphany. Uh, Hao Han, thanks so much uh, for jumping on this morning, talk a little crypto, and we'll certainly uh, stay in touch as you guys get set for that uh, exciting milestone. Appreciate the time.